My friends at Easy Cater are workplace catering pros, helping you find food for everything from daily employee meals to staff meetings and special events. Visit easycater.com slash leader assistant to find out more. You're listening to the Leader Assistant Podcast with your host, here's your host, Jeremy (laughs) Burroughs. The Leader Assistant Podcast exists to encourage and challenge assistants to become confident, game-changing leader assistants. Hey friends, it's your host, Jeremy Burroughs. And I just wanted to let you know a little bit about today's sponsor. The Leader Assistant Podcast is brought to you by Goody. With employee burnout at all-time highs, it's so important to make your team feel appreciated and recognized. With Goody, you can connect your HR system and automatically send gifts for employees' birthdays and work anniversaries. Talk about automating before your role is automated. It's a modern, hands-free way to show your team members how much you appreciate them. Goody is free to start gifting, and you can get a $20 credit when you sign up. Be sure to mention the Leader Assistant Podcast, and Goody will add an extra $10 credit to your account. Go to leaderassistant.com slash Goody to give Goody a try. Hey, friends. Thanks for tuning in to the Leader Assistant Podcast. To start off today's unique episode, I thought I would share a couple of Amazon reviews of my book, The Leader Assistant, Four Pillars of a Confident Game-Changing Assistant. And if you don't have a copy, you can grab yours at amazon.leaderassistant.com. And if you already have a copy or you've listened to the audiobook, read the digital ebook or the paperback, hardcover, all the different versions, and you've enjoyed it, I would really appreciate leaving a review on Amazon and a rating on Amazon. Uh, I've got a quick shortcut URL to get you to the page to leave a review for the book. So if you go to review.leaderassistant.com, that's review.leaderassistant.com, it'll take you straight to the page on Amazon. You just sign into your Amazon account and leave a rating and a review for the book. I'd really, really appreciate it. Oh, and if you leave a review, who knows, I might read it on the podcast someday. You'll notice a new voice in this episode. It's my good friend, Colonel J. We have been friends for a long time, and we had a blast recording this episode, and I'm going to feature him in a few different episodes coming up. But I decided to have a little bit of fun with the reviews and reading of them. Colonel has some different voices that he's going to use to mix it up and... Yeah, it's going to be entertaining, so I hope you enjoy it. The first review is 5 out of 5 stars, and it's from Demi. Thanks for the review, Demi. I'm an EA to multiple directors, and let me tell you, you need to read this book. If you're going to read one book this year, make it this book. This one is 5 out of 5 stars from Jennifer. I've been an assistant for many years, and I've learned so many great things in this book. I will keep it handy as a resource going forward. This one's from Nicole, three out of five stars. He got so whiny at the end that it was hard to finish. The next book review of The Leader Assistant is a two out of five stars and comes from someone named Kindle Customer. Hey, Kindle, I hope life is treating you well. I'm afraid I can't agree with the majority of this book. It seems quite superficial and lacks depth. If you remove all the fluff, it can be a good blog post, but not enough for a book. All right, then. Well, I hope you enjoyed the reviews of my book, The Leader Assistant, read by my friend Colonel J. And I hope you had some fun with that, as I did. Uh, It's always good to not take things personally or take yourself too seriously and make fun of yourself. And I enjoyed having my buddy Colonel J read those reviews. So this episode is all about what assistants hear from their executives, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So I had a chance to gather submissions uh, via an anonymous survey to hear what executives say to assistants. And I asked a bunch of different questions. And so I figured I would spread out the answers 
for the different questions uh, for a variety of episodes um, here over the next couple months and give us something to really think about as we hear the awful things that executives say to assistants, but also be encouraged as we hear the amazing things that other executives say to assistants. So again, my friend Colonel Jay is going to read these responses as if he is the executives and he's going to use some different fun voices. And the two questions that I am going to focus on answers from the survey on this episode are first, what is the worst thing an executive or colleague has said to you? And the second one is what's the nicest thing an executive or colleague has said to you? So I'm going to start with the negative, worst, bad, ugly stuff first, and then we'll end on a positive note. And as you're listening to these really interesting things that, and and often sad things that executives have said to, and terrible things, to be, to be frank, that executives have said to assistants who submitted the survey, just remember that life's too short to work for a toxic executive. Life is too short to work for an environment and culture and company that, that allows the treatment of assistants to be like this. So I just wanted to encourage you, if you hear some of these statements and you think, that's what my executive has said, or that's what the team that I work with, that's how they talk to assistants, be encouraged that there are other environments out there and other options for you. And you'll hear those when you hear the positive things that other executives have said. So I hope you really are stirred emotionally in different ways and that this is an encouragement and a reminder to really strive to seek cultures and environments and executives who value and respect the assistant role. All right, so the first one is, what's the worst thing an executive has said to you? Did you ever think of going to college? Your opinion means nothing to me. You need to lose weight and flirt a bit more with some of the management. You're a pig. A bottle of Cristal is waiting for you in my jet for when maybe I take you to dinner or a a night in Paris. You don't deserve the money you make. You're only an EA. Grow up. Stop doing too much. It makes me look bad. You're just a secretary. I don't pay you for your opinion. You are a waste of space and salary. Listen, anyone could do your job. Why would they be going to you to ask that? They should be going to one of the leaders. Well, that was probably very difficult to listen to for some of you. It either made you angry, like it does make me angry, made you sad because you are in an environment where your executive has said things like that to you recently, maybe even this week. So hang in there. Remember that you are a valuable member of the team. And... You know, even more importantly, you're a valuable human being, no matter what your executive says about you or to you or to others behind your back. None of that matters when it comes to your value as a human being. All right, let's jump into the positive side of what executives say to assistants. So the next question and the next responses from the anonymous survey, which, by the way, I will link to in the show notes so that you can fill it out if you'd like to contribute to a future episode. Those can be found at leaderassistant.com slash 180. But the next question is, what's the nicest thing an executive or colleague has said to you? You saved my business. Thank you. You should be the one sitting in the corner office. I never worry about how you'll represent me, my office, or the company. I couldn't do this without you. You are my right-hand person, and I respect and admire you. Not only for the work you do, but for the person you are. I'm really glad you're here. You are a part of the executive team, and you deserve to be treated like it. I didn't know how much I needed you. You've made such a difference in two weeks. Even my wife said I'm more pleasant when I get home. Thank you. We could not do this without your leadership. 
you are irreplaceable. You're the one employee I do not have to worry about because you get your job done. Listen, you make everyone and everything around me better because of who you are. You are capable, loved, worthy, important, kind, and strong, and I thank you. Okay, that one was really good. Let's listen to that one again. Take it away, Colonel. You are capable, loved, worthy, important, kind, and strong. This place could not run without you. You are fearless and my rock. Wow, some good stuff there. Thanks again to my friend, Colonel J, for reading all of those submissions from assistants all over the world. The anonymous survey, if you want to fill it out, and, you know, it's all anonymous, and we can read your responses in a future episode. Go to the show notes at leaderassistant.com slash 180, leaderassistant.com slash 180 to check out the show notes, which include a link to the anonymous survey if you want to contribute for future episodes. So I hope this was encouraging, at least the last part, especially to hear that there are lots of executives out there that really respect and value assistance. And some of you are currently working with executives like that. So never take it for granted and keep leading well. And I hope you enjoyed this episode and we will talk to you next time. If you're enjoying the show, please leave a review and rating on Apple Podcasts. GoBullows.com